Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. I am here and I'm bringing you another nail design. This is going to be a drawn and slash cut out butterfly um, design. So right here I'm just going in with my Lush Coconut from Glam and Glitz. And I'm just putting, um, adding that acrylic onto my pointer finger. And I will be doing the same thing to my um, pinky finger. So these nails... Both are going to be ombre, so I'm just going to be adding the Lush Coconut, which is a really pretty glittered um, acrylic. It's so cute. Um, it looks kind of transparent, but as you can see, it has silver, you know, coloring in it, so uh, like a silver tint. So it's really pretty. It's so cute. Um, it's easy to work with as well. Um, it has enough acrylic in there to work with it and just looks so pretty guys you should really check out this color if you're looking for a glitter color it's really pretty like i said love it right here i'm going in with this valentino it's like a baby blue color and guys mind you it's usually very hot where i live so i'm not really used to working in the cold weather um so right here my acrylic was coming out very runny um and i was trying to control it as much as i could but it's very hard it was super duper cold we were like in the 30s i believe um so as you can see i should have grabbed the beads a little more wet i mean more dry um because if they come out more wet it's just gonna be runny especially because it's not drying up fast because it is cold not like when it is hot. Um, the beads tend to dry up faster just because of the heat. So that is a problem right now that I'm, <laughs> I'm having. Um, I feel like I got to get used to it sometimes. But then again, it's like it's really hot all the time. So that is why I'm more used to the heat and grabbing the beads a little more wet. I did try to grab them a little more dry on this side um, once I realize because i tend to forget you know the temperature change sometimes that i'm just grabbing the bead and grabbing the bead um so once i realized about it um i try to grab them a little more dry um but yeah you still need your your brush a little wet so you can work with the product so at least that's how i tend to work i like it wet that way i can drag the colors around and stuff like that so it was very hard on me but I got it down at the end of the day. It looked cute. The color came good together. And I love the way the ombre came out. And right here I'm going in with this Glam and Glitz glitter acrylic. And this is um, a dark blue. Um, I will be putting the link in the description box down below. Just so you can go check those out. This is such a pretty color. Um, so this is going to be my butterfly cutout basically. Um, I did go in a little too thick with this glitter. I wanted it to be a little more thin on the thin side. And but right here, I'm just kind of making those wing shapes. Because at the end, I am going to be encapsulating this. Um, well, adding color around it. I will be adding that blue around it. And then I will be encapsulating. That way, I can go ahead and draw in my butterfly. So after I did the glitter i did put um clear acrylic on top of it so that way when i go to encapsulating none of that blue i'm not encapsulating <laughs> once i go in with that blue color that i wanted to do around the butterfly um it doesn't go all over inside the glitter you know inside the little creases of the glitter acrylic so that is why i tended i i went in with that clear acrylic and did it over that glitter acrylic and i tried to do the wings as similar as possible i don't know what got into me that i did want a little bit more thinner and i did want that thickness on the on the wing but i don't know what happened that i just kind of ruined it but right here i am trying i'm just putting my nails together trying to get them as close as possible trying to see where i'm gonna um, locate the other half of the wing um, and just adding that glitter working with it of course um like i said 
I'm working with it a little bit more, um, you know, trying to figure out my powder to my liquid to powder ratio. And um, I feel like with the glitter, it was a little bit more easier just because it has all that chunks of glitter. So it kind of controls the acrylic, I kind of want to say. So that worked pretty well. I feel like I got it kind of close to each other. Um, I wasn't paying attention to one of the wings being a little bit more thinner than the other. Um, I just kept looking at it from a perspective where I saw it that it was pretty close to each other. <clears throat> excuse me um so that is why i just left it the way it was and of course right here like i said i did go ahead and encapsulate that clip that glitter the glitter acrylic just because i don't want any of that blue to run in between the glitter and just mess up the shyness of it so after encapsulating both as you can see here i did this bead way too runny but it was kind of on the good side because it was actually going down and going over that 3D butterfly. Um, not the 3D butterfly, but the cutout of the butterfly, which was a 3D. Um, so I wanted to get it all over. And this is why I didn't mind it because of the fact that I had already put the clear acrylic um, over that glitter. So, of course, it's going to look messy right now. You're not going to be able to tell what it is, but as long as you know what your base, my vision was, it's going to cover every little crack. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to file it down. So once I go in with my file, it will file down and you will be able to see the butterfly. And that is exactly what I did. Um, I didn't care about anything going on top of that glitter acrylic. As you can see, I'm just putting it all over the place, trying to get the thickness of that nail um kind of close to that butterfly um so that way when i go to filing down um it's leveled and of course you know just straight as can be to that shape And after adding all that blue from Valentino, I am going in with my um, nail drill and I am just going to be filing down, basically making that butterfly, those butterfly wings pop out, you know, that way I can see them and just smoothing out the whole nail to where it's leveled. Um, so yeah, you just go ahead and go in with your file. You can go in with the hand file as well. I just wanted to go in with my nail drill because I could basically speed it up a little bit more faster so that is why i went in with my nail drill instead and then after i did um you know file it down and that butterfly came out i did encapsulate so this was already the nails were already encapsulated and i am doing my pointer and my pinky finger glossy top coat and i am going in with this matte top coat for the butterfly so right here, I did grab my Kiara Sky um, polish. It is white, plain white. And I'm going in with my brush, my art brush. And I'm just making these lines to, so that butterfly can pop out and have, um, you know, just drawing the lines for the wings and everything. That way it's just not the blue glitter. Um, I do want to add some kind of like texture to it and stuff like that so i did go ahead and draw the lines and then i will be doing some shapes inside trying to get it to look as much as i can very neat um you know close 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 to each other um but let me tell you guys it was really difficult with the other finger i felt like this finger came out so so pretty 
um, this side of the wings, basically. Um, this one came out so pretty. I really liked this design better than the other, the middle fingernail design. And you will see why. So right here I'm just adding the final touches and doing those little curves and I didn't show you the process of the other nail but look at this guys what a fail <laughs> this was such a fail like the other side was such a fail um, but this is the outcome guys um, I didn't show you the process for the other one because it was very hard to um, film but this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed at least half of the butterfly um, it was pretty hard to do but yeah i mean we all have fails right we all i'm still learning how to use my brush and everything um draw lines and thank you so much for watching i hope you like comment share and subscribe and don't forget to come back next time bye